All right, guys, from the floor view, you can see that my heels are up. I always uh, recommend playing heels up. Uh, that gives you more power and more speed. And I keep my foot around halfway down the pedal, just like this. And for the single pedal slide technique, uh, there's just basically one movement that you're going to make from the middle of the bass to the end of the bass, right here. And uh, it's a slide, basically, but you're going to have two strike points. This is your first strike point and your second strike point right here. And when you strike it right here at the first strike point, you're going to feel the bass, if you're hitting it correctly, whip back, just like that. And as it's whipping back, you're going to move the foot forward. And as the bass is whipping back and your foot's moving forward, it's going to catch it in midair and slam it back. But with a slide technique, you're going to be able to do this at a very high speed and you're going to get really used to it and it's going to feel more like a slide. But uh, again, I do not use the heel-toe technique. And uh, this is not the swivel technique either, although I do use the swivel technique for fast uh, double bass speeds. This is totally different. This is for when you're uh, trying to do triplets with the double bass and uh, other kind of fast single bass action. Uh, this technique really helps you out. So again, like I said, uh, you're going to have the strike here at the middle, let up and move forward, and you're going to catch that bounce and throw it back again. Now here's what it is at a relatively slow but faster speed. Again, notice that my heels are up. All right, now I'm just sliding forward. That's all I'm doing. Basically, the angle of the pedal is forcing that forward motion to catch that, that bass pedal and throw it back at the bass again. So again, I'll show you at a slower speed. I don't even feel the individual hits any longer. I'm just sliding forward, and that bass is just bouncing twice off of there, just like that. Speed it up, it's going to sound something like this. This can be used whenever you're stuck on a single bass pedal and uh, you want to do, like, uh, for instance, the rolls that involve a uh, double bass pedal, you can do that with a single bass pedal, just like this. It can also be very effective in drum beats. And one more really cool thing that you can do is you can take your right foot and do that double hit. And then with your left foot, add a third bass, like that. You can combine the two together and make a triplet. Just like this. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you guys on the next video.